How's it going everybody? I'm Slavin Torsky and welcome to the channel. And I did manage to do it. I managed to get my hands on a Walther PDP. Um, I don't have any of the special connections like other gun reviewers do where you can get them early. I have to wait. Uh, Rural King managed to finally get these back in stock. Ordered one, got shipped in, and I have it in hand now. So I was kind of watching the website like a hawk until I got it. But if you do enjoy firearms reviews, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to keep up on all the recent ones so we can actually get them on here for people to see. And of course, if you do find this video informational or helpful at all, or even just entertaining, go ahead and hit a like. That's always appreciated. And of course, any questions that you have or any updates, or if I get something wrong, go ahead and put it in the comments section. That's always a great learning tool. All right, so let's hop straight in. First, when you get the Walter PDP, you get this really nice looking box, which is kind of cool because they made the box look like the slide. You have these big old cuts in the slide. So I think that's kind of a neat little feature. I like aesthetics. All right, so the locks are lift up and unhook locks. Took the guy at the shop a minute to realize that. But this is a huge box for all of this. Now inside the box, you get a Walther branded cable lock. You get the books. Now, uh, let's get these out of here. That's everything. All right, so one of the nice things is it does not come with an optic plate. What you do is after you've ordered the pistol, which I have not done this yet, which is why I'm not flipping over the paper, but there's a barcode on the back of this. You can scan the barcode and uh, you can order whichever one of these plates that you need for optic cutout. So actually, let me do it like this. I have no idea whether or not the barcode is uh, exclusive, so we'll just do it that way. That gives you an idea of all the different plates you can use and which ones will be compatible with what. So that's kind of a cool idea. Then on top of that, you have the book, which Walther has really nice books and they got some hidden stuff in here. What's all this? Registration information, firearm safety. All right, so back to the book. Very nice book, full color. Walther usually does a good job with their actual manuals. All right, so we went over the lock already. You get three back straps of varying sizes. Are they indicated what's what? Uh, I don't see any numbering on them, but that's okay. Because you can just look at them and kind of tell what's what. I think it has the medium installed right now. You get a mag loader that is Walther branded, and you get two 15 round magazines because this is the compact version. And a fun fact, the compact version of these is compatible. The magazines are compatible with the PPQ. So you have PDP magazines and PPQ magazines. The PPQ will work with the PDP on the magazine side. Let me put that back. Uh, you get a chamber flag and you get an allen key and a little sight adjustment tool it's always nice to get the extras and then we have the pistol itself let me see if there's anything okay the cushioning on the bottom does not come up so you don't have to worry about that and then we have the pistol itself one magazine will be in the pistol just cc it is clear we are safe nothing to worry about there 
But let me go ahead and clean up the table and we'll be right back with more information. All right, and we are back. So let's take a nice look at the pistol, like I said. Looks just like the box, I think that's really cool. They're making that the identifiable part of this pistol, which is really, really neat. It's very light, as you can see here, there's not much weight to it. But let's take our time to get a nice good look at it. This is a very nice pistol. I'm very glad that they came out with this. So let's look at the back straps. All right, so you just pop this little pin out of here and you can put on different ones so you see how the one on there is medium, this is the small. And this gives you an idea of what the large will be like. So you get an extra padding up here with a much more aggressive kind of a hump in the back here. I kind of like the medium. It seems to feel the best for me. I could probably do with the large, but no, no, medium is perfectly fine. All right, so there is not a frame mounted safety, but you do have a trigger safety here. So let's test that. The trigger blade safety means your finger needs to be all the way across there to get that safety out of the way. See how that works? So if something hits here and just brushes it but doesn't touch that trigger blade, that's in the way. You have to do that. So that gives you kind of an idea of what you're expecting there. But let's go over the features. You do have very aggressive slide serrations. One of the key features on this, they're very deep, but they are not sharp. See, I'm not cutting my finger at all on those. They feel really good in the hand, to be honest. I like these real deep serrations. These feel good. But they're on both sides, so you can do your press checks as well. Very easy. No problems there. As usual, Walther, the embellishment and their logo and everything on there, it's not overdone. It's very tasteful. You do have the slide catch, slide release. is ambidextrous on both sides of the firearm. Magazine release is very large, easy to get to, with a nice block on the bottom here. So nothing will come up, hit it from the bottom. My thumb can very easily get to this without actually having to do anything. So shoot, it's almost the perfect size for my hand. I do have large hands. Uh, the grip itself is this really cool, almost looks like a honeycomb with little tiny, almost like pyramids inside the honeycomb. And then on top of that, you also have the grip ridges here. So that's on both sides and the back. It feels really good. It almost looks like it might hurt, but it's not. It's not gonna tear your hand up and it's super, super grippy. It's one of the best grip textures I've seen on a firearm. You see here what actually says compact. So that's kind of cool. On the front, you get little pyramids. So that's easy. Front of the trigger guard, more pyramids. I like that with a nice squared off large trigger guard. So if you have a gloved hand, you can get it in there. And it is kind of cut under here for your finger to be more comfortable. You get a pick reel on the front with three spots. Three spots, so very nice. Nice flush fit on the front here. Good looking though, that's crown barrel. You see where the corners are all beveled so they don't hang up on things too much. Front sight is a very basic front sight. Just pinned right in, decently large white sight. Rear sight, and I do like these, it is adjustable and it is guarded on both sides. So if something hits the, this here, it's not gonna move that. Very, very nice. And you'll see the sight acquisition, it's very easy. You'll see the back plate actually says PDP, kinda cool. Then you have the ejector, it does have a um, charged, if there is a round in the chamber indicator right there. Can't see it, but it's red right inside there. Of course, the barrels all have the same kind of proof marks and things like that on them. Very, very nice. The magazine is, or the magazine release is interchangeable, so you can swip, swap it to this side if you do need to. The magwell, uh, it's not really beveled or anything, well, it's beveled a little. But it's not flared, but it's very easy to get a mag in there. And you do have the, where like a Glock would have a plug. This comes down so it's a nice flush fit on the bottom. And as you can see, the magazine, when you eject it, there's enough spring tension 
that it fires that sucker out of there. So that's pretty nice. But very, very good feeling firearm, I would say. And right on top here is the cover for the plates. Take that off and get your RMRs, your red dots, things like that right on top. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the tr trigger. So it is charged, so let's go ahead and see that trigger. So you have a little bit of take up to right there. Brakes. Reset. It resets a little bit before it breaks, so it pushes your hand out to have to push it back more. Break. Reset. See that? That little bit of take up? That's the difference between the break and the reset right there. So, not bad. Not a bad trigger at all. Very good for a, let's say a duty pistol or a good concealed carry kind of compact. Not a subcompact, but a regular compact pistol. I do like this so far. It's very, very nice. But let me go ahead and put that down. And we'll be right back with a little bit more information. All right, so this is the portion of the video where we go into it and weigh it for you. Cool note, as I did actually load the one of the magazines using the magazine loader, and I kind of saw this, I don't know if that's the model number for the magazine loader, but I know they have a P99 model pistol, so these might be some extras that they're using to give away with this. I think it's kind of cool. And if you do hear the noise in the background, I do apologize. It's one of the TVs that I have no control over. <laughs> All right, so we are going to weigh the pistol, unloaded. Again, we're showing it's, it's nice and safe. And then we're going to weigh it with magazines, without, so on and so forth, so you know what you're looking into. All right, weight of the pistol by itself is one pound, 5.3 ounces. So let's just be funny. An empty magazine by itself is going to weigh you about 2.9 ounces, so it gives you an idea. If you wanted to carry a second magazine on you, so this is what you're looking at. Fully loaded 15 round magazine is 9.4 ounces, so if you wanted to keep an extra, you could take into account that weight. And a fully loaded pistol with just 15 rounds in it, so fully loaded, not counting the plus one, is one pound 14.7 ounces. So that gets you an idea of what the weight of this kit's gonna be. All right, so next up in this video is going to be the disassembly in case you need to clean it or get in there and get some grime and stuff out of there. All right, so as usual, first step, you make sure the firearm is unloaded and there's nothing in there. Now, one thing I want to tell you is if you do charge this and the trigger is ready to be shot, you will have to pull the trigger to disassemble this. But if it is not, so I pulled the trigger, disassembly is just like a Glock for the most part. Except it's a little easier because this big button is your disassembly lever. So you're going to hold it just like you're going to shoot it. Rotate your other hand up here and hold it like this. And you're going to push forward with your thumb, pull back with your fingers. Doing that, you can pull down on this. Let go at the top, push forward with your thumb comes apart. Now I'll show you if, all right, so I charge it, that trigger's ready to go. If you try to do that with the charge trigger, it will not do it. It'll make you pull the trigger in order to disassemble it. So if you don't want to do that, make sure your firearm is safe, pull the trigger, so that way the uh, trigger is inactive. Pull it back slightly, pull that down, slide the off just that quick. So here's your internals on the lower. You kind of see how the trigger works there. It's kind of cool. Neat to see that feature work on the inside. But that's the lower frame. There is no weight to that at all. That weighs practically nothing. Then on the upper slide, this is where all the weight is because that's a pretty thick slide. You're going to take out the recoil spring and guide rod assembly. This is a polymer guide rod recoil and re metal recoil spring. It is captured so you don't have to worry about it flying anywhere. Take out the barrel. You see it's still covered in oil and grease because I haven't cleaned it all off yet from opening it up. Gives you an idea what the barrel looks like. 
and then you have the slide itself. You can see everything in here. Very simple, very easy. Uh, you have your firing pin and everything in here, which you could just pull this down and out to clean that. But I never really clean the firing pins on these. I don't find there's much of a need to unless it's just super, super filthy. But that does come out of there to clean that. But I'm not going to worry about that in this video because we're just showing stuff you need to do to clean it for the basics. So, let's put it back together once you're done. I'm just going to put that barrel back in. The recoil spring and guide rod assembly. The little part of the plastic goes in the front. And the rear part is going to fall right in here. There we go. See where it caught. Then after that, you're going to take your lower and you see here you have these rails on the front and then you have them again on the back. That's going to fit right into these rail guides. All the way back and then all you have to do charge it, locks itself, you're good to go. You can confirm functionality, no problems. Super easy to take apart and super easy to disassemble to clean. No problems there. All right, so all in all, this is an awesome pistol. I think it's a great addition to the lineup for Walther. It's definitely an upgrade from their PPQs, which I think they're gonna be phasing those out and going strictly to just the PDPs. At least that's what I heard. So we'll see if that happens. But I do actually really like this firearm. As you can see, I haven't purchased a PPQ yet, so I've purchased the PDP. It gives you an idea which one I kind of like more. But awesome firearm, great feel, perfect for anyone's first firearm or their 500th firearm. Good concealed carry option. It is a little thick for concealed carry, but you can get over that. The worst part of concealed carry, from my experience, especially me since I have a tactical muffin top, is the back right here. Because when it's sitting on your belt line, this part tends to stick out of your shirt and announce to everyone, there's something under my shirt. The thickness is generally not too much of an issue. Unless it's like a Desert Eagle. <laughs> but, great firearm. I highly recommend it for anyone that's looking to get one of these. I know they're a little hard to find right now, but as soon as you can start getting your hands on them, I Grab one if you can. They're very, very cool firearms. And Walther is a great brand. But that's all I have for today. I hope everyone enjoyed the review and found it helpful, especially if you're trying to buy one of these. Kind of a uh, smaller channels, look on them, up close views. Thought that might help. But uh, let me know in the comments section if you like these, if you're waiting for another model, or if you have a different suggestion. I used to have a P99 back in the day and I loved it. I will say this is a pretty good upgrade from that. Great firearm. But that's it for today. I hope everyone out there, stay safe, keep your family safe, stay on target with your goals, make sure that you don't forget those, don't put those away because those are very important. Too many people do, I have for a while. <laughs> that's why I consider myself a late bloomer. It took me a while to wake up my own mind. But enough uh, me rambling on my soapbox. Take it easy, everybody, and we'll talk to you again in the next video.